The body is a vast labyrinth of connections being transmitted, decoded, and responding accordingly. Whether it be pulling your hand away from a hot stove, shivering to keep warm, or blushing when you become embarrassed, these are all reflexes caused by impulses being transmitted throughout the body. These signals are transmitted through nerve cells. Nerve cells are thin lines that run throughout the body to transport impulses. Each, in each individual nerve cell is called a neuron. There are three types of neurons, sensory, inter, and motor neuron. Neurons are comprised of a dendrite, which conducts impulses toward the cell body, a cell body, and an axon, which sends impulses away. The fluid surrounding the neuron is positive because of a high concentration of sodium ions. Inside the cell is more neutral because both positive potassium and negative chlorine ions exist. The difference between the, these two charges is referred to as resting potential. When impulses or action potentials are sent through a nerve, the signal is the product of ion movement which causes a change in electrical charge of the nerve cell. The signal causes the sodium gates embedded in the cell membrane to configure and allows the sodium ions to enter the cell and cause the charge inside to become more positive. This process is called depolarization. After the inside or axoplasm of the cell becomes more positive, the proteins in the membrane will change once more by closing the sodium gates and opening up potassium gates. As the positive potassium ions flood out, the charge will be restored back to how it was prior to the impulse. This process is called repolarization. Sodium potassium pumps will then return the ions back to their original location. This process only occurs in between the fatty sections of the myelin sheath. This in between area is referred to as the node of Ranvier. As an action potential occurs in one node, the signal transmits to the next node until it has traveled to its destination. Sometimes the signal jumps further along a nerve to increase speed. This is called saltatory transmission. When a signal has reached the end of an axon, it encounters a synapse. This is a gap between one neuron and the next. Impulses are sent from the presynaptic membrane to the postsynaptic membrane through the process of synaptic transmission. Presynaptic membranes have balloon-shaped vesicles which carry inside them neurotransmitters. These balloons are attached to the membrane by strands of protein. When an impulse arrives in the axon, it causes calcium gates to open. The, pr the presence of calcium causes the protein strands to contract and the vesicle now attaches to the membrane and delivers its contents to the synaptic gate through exocytosis. The neurotransmitters then attach onto the postsynaptic membrane. If enough of these are present, it will cause sodium gates to open and the signal will progress. Special enzymes will then destroy the neurotransmitters so that the nerve can return to its original condition. There are, all, there are two types of neurotransmitters, excitatory and inhibitory. Excit excitatory will encourage depolarization, whether, whereas inhibitory will do, do just the opposite. Next time your pupils dilate or you jump after someone, try, uh, after someone tries to scare you, realize it is only a result of a signal being sent through tiny strands branching out through your entire body. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment.